Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining for today's video. For some reason I just can't hold this camera correctly today. So as you would have seen from the title, today's video is going to be a home vlog. We've got lots going on at the house. The like renovated utility room and bathroom downstairs are finished so I can't wait to show you those. I'm sitting on a new sofa and just like lots of other little bits and bobs. So I thought I would do one big kind of home update for you. I'm kind of filming this vlog the wrong way around really. I've been filming snippets of the bathroom. Also, so exciting. My little old house is gonna be featured in Hearts Living magazine. Um, so I have had to send over some high res images of the house. And to be honest, when I was actually looking through my images of the house, they're all mainly iPhone photos. So I needed to like reshoot them on my camera so they were better quality for the magazine. So also in this video is going to be a little bit of a clean with me, like tidy up and preparing for the photo shoot basically. So as you can see by these boxes and a little sneak peek of the new sofa, our new sofa arrived yesterday and Tom and I were putting it together last night. I was trying to record it for this vlog but the battery died, we were arguing. D please tell me that we're like not the only couple that things like that, like putting a sofa together, like we were having to like clip bits in and we had a clip each and then my clip would go in and Tom's clip wouldn't go in and then vice versa and we were really bickering about this so far. <laughs> I don't know how much of that's going to make the vlog. All of these little things have been happening like throughout the week and I've been filming them so now I'm going to take you back to the start of the week and kind of show you little bits and bobs around the house. Tomorrow, there's no time to 
have just finished cleaning the kitchen and the sun has just come up, which is so nice. I popped to my local florist this morning and got some fresh eucalyptus. I just love having like a big vase of this, especially in the kitchen. I think it just looks so, so nice. I have done a full kitchen video, so I will link that below um, with kind of all the kitchen details. I'm just showing you, but again, because it's all nice and clean today. In my Neom pod today, I have got the Make You Happy um, scent, which is so nice, and then it just kind of diffuses out of there. Oh, this is a new purchase, actually. I got this little book stand. Um, let me take this book off to show you. Oh, it's quite heavy. Here. It was £12 from, I need to take that sticker off, from Dunelm. But I think it looks so nice and it's actually so handy. And now I'm going to take you through to our new utility room and toilet that oh, I'm so excited to show you. Okay, so through here is our new little utility area. I absolutely love it. I did show you a sneak peek of this a few weeks ago, so I can't remember actually what you saw. I think that the navy... Um, cupboards were in but this oh my gosh this little room just makes me so happy obviously it's just a small little area and it's also Bertie's bedroom and if you followed me for a while you'll know that I actually love doing my washing I'm looking forward to spring getting it out on the line so I actually find this room very therapeutic so I'm going to start over here we put this little laundry guide up just as like a little fun piece of artwork that is from Decenio and then in this corner we have put some wooden shelves up and these were off cuts of the wooden worktop um, so they just fit so nicely in there and then I just find this so it's very aesthetically pleasing but also this for me was so like, I can't explain how fun this was filling these little bottles. I just love little things like this. I do know what is in each one, but I do need to get a little, like, label maker or some labels to put on there. Um, and then this is actually just a little fake plant um, from Ikea. But if you watch my Ikea haul, um, you'd have seen this plant pot. I just love the scallops on that. So, And then on the top shelf, we've got this lovely little jar. Oh, get it down. Um... It's actually got like a little blue spotty lid um, for Bertie's treats, which is so cute. And then I've just popped a little reed diffuser up there. Excuse um, this out here. Our neighbours are having an extension. It's, the extension isn't coming into our garden, but they've had to like use our space to build. So they've just put that up. So ignore that. I got this little basket recently from Dunelm. How cute is this? This is just for like potatoes and like, onions and like our uh, kind of you know, loose bits of veg and things like that. And then I've got this huge plant. I've had this in the house for a while and it really needs sunlight. So actually I thought that it works really nicely in here. And then I put it in this wicker plant pot and that is from Very. So before we didn't have a cupboard here. So we have added in this. Also because I'm filming like against the light, I don't know how hard like, it's quite hard to see the navy. I'm hoping that that shows up really well. And then on the flooring, I'm so, so happy with this flooring. Um, I will leave the details of this linked below, but it was from Tops Tiles. We did think about having wooden worktops in our main kitchen, but my mum used to have wooden worktops, and I remember her kind of always having to sand and oil them, um, especially in a kitchen where they, like, get a lot of wear. They won't get too much wear, I don't think, in here. It's only going to be, like, putting the washing basket up here and that kind of thing so I think for here it will be okay um, but I just I really really love the wood and the navy blue throughout all of our house it's very kind of neutral and lots of beige and white tones so we just wanted to I mean I know this isn't crazy at all but in here we just wanted to do like a little bit of something different and I really really love the dark cupboard doors we did look at the dark green as well and it was such a hard decision but we went with the navy also we just stuck to kind of chrome details in here with the tap and the handle the same washing machine we've had before and we popped a ceramic sink in so I just love the kind of the white wood and navy all together and then the tiles are from tops tiles and they are just the um their standard metro tiles they're very simple but I really just kind of love the simplicity of them and I think it just yeah it is just very clean and neat which I love 
And then to add to the wooden tones in here and those kind of natural textures, I've got this gorgeous lampshade. It's from Iconic Lights. I'm so, so pleased with that. It just fits in with the room so, so nicely. Then one of my favorite features in here is this rail that we have fitted up here because as I said, love doing my washing and in like the winter when it's raining, we have washing hanging all over the house. So to save having all of the clothes around the house, we fitted this long rail um, and I've kept hangers here so that when the washing finishes, I can literally just hang it all straight up on hangers and let it dry in here. The units, the worktop and the sink were from Howden's and then the tap was from Screwfix. And just to tie in with those chrome details, we've also added chrome um, like light switches as well. this utility area leads us onto our downstairs little bathroom. I'm so excited about this room and I'm so so pleased with it. So here is our little renovated bathroom. So we've gone navy in here as well and we actually had this colour is exactly the same as the units and the utility so it all kind of ties together and flows really nicely together. I'm so obsessed with this print I got. It's just from Decenio, but I love the colors in it so much. In here, we have kept the layout exactly the same, apart from the sink, which I'll show you in a sec. So as you come in, we've got a little radiator here, and the paneling comes all the way around here. Got a little shelf up here. So up here, I've just popped some little bits, and the scent in here is sea salt from the White Company, and it smells so, so nice. I think it's such a gorgeous bathroom scent, and I've just popped my little um, coral thingy I got from Jisk a little while ago on there. And then round here we have got a shower and in here we carried on the white metro tiles. I think they just look so clean and neat and just kind of just simple. And then this has to be my favorite little corner of this room. I absolutely love the sink. It sits so nicely against the navy. And we've put a big round mirror up here as well. And that is from Ikea. The sink and the shower were from Victorian Plumbing. This, I love this sink so much. It's quite a different style to everything else we've got in the rest of the house. So I'm really, really pleased with it. And then actually this towel has just arrived from Dusk. I've got some um, more Dusk things to show you later. I just love them for like towels and bedding. So it's really nice, just like white waffle towel. So this is what we have been working on basically every weekend for the last few months. The house is in a bit of chaos today. You know, it's one of those moments where it will all come together, but right now, a little bit all over the place. So we got out the sofa parts from the boxes last night, but the rug wasn't in the right position and I just want to like reshuffle things around. So this is just a little part of our new sofa. I'll show you the full thing in a minute because it's currently all in bits, but it is from Swift Sofas. This is the Model 3 in pumice. You know what it's like when you're trying to move a rug on the sofa, it's better just to move the sofa out of the way. So now the rug is in position, I can put these back in their places. My mum works with me one day a week, so she is here today with me, thank goodness, because you know when you just need, like, sometimes it's not even just like an extra pair of hands, it's just like the brain power. You know when you're trying to do a hundred things and you just need like someone else with you basically, so I'm so grateful that she is here today. <laughs> Yeah. 
as you would have just seen, I've got some new bits from Dusk. I ordered some new um, pillow covers and also a new bedspread. Never had a bedspread before. I feel very grown up. I saw it on their website and I just thought, oh my gosh, it looks so, so nice. It's this gorgeous pattern. It's really, really pretty. Um, and then I got one small pillow. Um, this is 50 by 50. Let me come back. So I can show you kind of the layout. This is a super king size bed, by the way. So the three cushions up at the back are 65 by 65. So I bought the cushion covers and I actually bought the inserts from there because I didn't have any pillows, like inserts this big. Whereas I had loads of 50 by 50 cushions, so I only bought the uh, cover for that so yeah there's three of the big square ones at the back oh, i just love it so much it makes me feel like such an adult in here this is our like spare bedroom i have changed the lamps and um, before they were like a golden black but i recently got these from asda can't believe it they're so so nice i love them got this gorgeous like rattan textured bottom and then this really nice just like neutral um top but i think they they tie in with these cushions so nicely color on the walls in here is nature lover by valspar i must have sampled oh, i just can't tell you how many greens i sampled i just wanted like this really nice dark green and yeah this one for me was the one and this is yeah nature lover by valspar i really love this kind of fresh little setup in here i was ordering um a new decennia print for the downstairs toilet which you would have just seen um, and whilst i was on there i wanted to get a new piece of artwork for in here because we'd had that one for a little while and the poster had started to like ripple and it just didn't look very nice in the frame anymore i think that this size is 100 centimeters by 70 it's really big um, but i think it just feel fills that gap so nicely so here is the finished uh like sofa area um all the bits of the sofa are now put together and i'm gonna be honest and say i've moved this about 100 times i'm currently <laughs> so sweaty because it's quite hard to move on the rug you have to like lift it rather than just push it if that makes sense um, but we are all in now and um, I put a few little cushions and a throw on there I'm not sure if this is like the final placement and final cushion choice but this is what we are going with for now um, so the sofa as I said earlier is from Swift and it's in the shade linen pumice and it's their model three sofa and the kind of thing about this sofa is actually each module, say like this, this and this is like one section. Each kind of seat is a section, meaning you can kind of add to them or take away them and like completely make it your own. What we have here is a three seater sofa so there's the left arm middle and right arm but then i added on a corner unit so that's what the corner bit is there if i move these cushions you can see here it is a corner part my only thing that just feels a bit weird is that the unit like each module like this and this are actually not connected they're just like pushed up against each other so i've got a bit of a gap here i just need to like have a bit of a play around and make sure um, I've kind of got that all sorted. Once we had unpacked it, it was actually very easy to put together and you don't need any tools. They've just got these little slotting devices um, down the side of like um, the arms and the backs to put those all together. And also another really good thing about this sofa is that it is it has a stain resistant fabric and I'm quite clumsy. We often, actually very often, eat dinner on the sofa and we also have a dog. Um, so our sofa before just just got so many stains on it um so that was like a really big selling point for us and also these are not made to measure like they're ready to go so you can get next day delivery as well also around here i forgot to show you we've got the um footstool like the chaise so you can also have this as like a three-seater sofa so as i said 
left arm, middle, and putting the right arm back there. And then you could have the chaise down there as well as another option. So there's so many ways like you can kind of play around with it. Um, I have also moved our rugs around. This is our Benuta one, and then in here. And then in the dining room, I have put the jutes one back in there because I thought that this color worked nicer. Um, on here, so Bertie's got his favorite little spot back at the front of the house. Haven't you? You like it there, don't you? And also, I got this lamp a few weeks ago, actually, maybe like a month ago. It's massive, actually, and I was looking for like this giant lamp because I really wanted something to like kind of fill this area. And so many I put there just looked like really small. So I found this one on Wayfair, which I'm so pleased with. Um, the the throw I've put on here, really, really love this. This is also from um, George at Asda, so nice. Um, the white cushions behind are from H&M, and we had those on our sofa before. Although this is like a beige kind of colour, I do feel like it has like a grey tone to the beige, so I really wanted to keep it quite warm in here so I've added these um, more kind of like creamy cushions these are from dusk I really love the chevron pattern and then the little fringing is so cute by the way if you keep thinking that my nails are my fingers are bleeding I keep thinking that I keep thinking oh my god I've cut myself but I was on a shoot earlier in the week and they wanted to um do my nails like this so I haven't taken them off yet I've just left them as that also while I'm here I thought I would just um, say that my coffee table is from Facebook marketplace I always get so many questions about it I think I paid about 20 pounds for it it was something I was after for so long and on kind of websites if I if I was able to even find one online they're at least 300 pounds um, and I know other people had found theirs on Facebook Marketplace. So I went through this stage of searching every single day. And then one day, here it was. And it was only about 15 minutes away. And I literally have never got in the car like quicker and went and got it immediately. Because I filmed this vlog on so many different days and there's lots of different things going on, I really hope that when I put it all together, it's going to make sense. So if you're still here now, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the home updates and the home vlog. If you don't already, I'd love if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.